Type 2, linear and nonlinear graphs. So linear means it's a straight line. So you can see that's the y equals x plus 2 in this case. And then nonlinear means a curve, such as a quadratic like this one, where it's y equals x squared minus 4. So by plotting the graphs on the same axis, find the solution to the simultaneous equations below. So we need to plot both of them. I'm going to start with the quadratic just because that's a little bit more challenging to plot. What I would recommend here, we need to be as accurate as possible. So draw a table such as this, where we've got a series of x values and the corresponding y values. This way we can plot a series of points and then connect them with a nice smooth curve so that we know the answer is accurate. Of course, if you do a really rough sketch here using only a couple of points, then because everyone draws it slightly differently, then you might get it slightly wrong just because you've drawn your curve a little bit strangely or not gone through enough points. So as many points as you can use will be beneficial here. Then plotting these points, you'll end up with these points here and we can draw a nice smooth curve through these points such as this. Okay, from there, all we need to do now is plot the straight line. What I would recommend is picking two points. A nice easy one is the y-intercept because you can read it straight off. That's the plus two on the end. So that goes there. Then find another point, ideally as far away as possible from the point you've already plotted, just so it's more accurate. I'm going to put pick the point where x is minus five. So we're doing minus five plus two. Minus five plus two is minus three. So let's plot the point minus five minus three. So that's there. Then we can connect those two points with a nice straight line and carry on through it so it covers the whole graph, such as this. Now we can see two points where the quadratic and the straight line interact with each other. That's here and here. Now, when you're talking about a straight line and a quadratic, you could have zero intersections, you could have one intersection, or you can have a maximum of two intersections. So now we need to read off the coordinates. This first point is relatively easy to read off because it's on the x-axis and we can see that it's at minus two. So we know that that is the point minus two, zero. There's one solution. Then we have another solution here where they meet again. This is a little bit harder to read, but all you need to do is come down to the x-axis. That's at three. So it's going to be three. And then figure out the y-axis by going like this, figure out the y-coordinate. So it ends up at five. So three, five. So you can see in this instance, we have two solutions, but some problems you might only have one solution, some you might have zero. Um, but key importance is here, try and plot your graphs as accurately as possible using as many points as possible. Straight line, you only need two as long as you, you use a ruler. Um, a quadratic, use as many as you can just so you make sure you are as accurate as possible. Most of the time, they will give you a table like this to fill in before you draw the axis and draw the, the graphs on there. However, if they don't, feel free to draw your own table. Try the topic exam on our learning platform here. You can answer a series of questions and assess your knowledge on the topic and get instant feedback both in a written solution format or a video solution format if you need an expert to talk you through it.